you are not a freaking victim of an event causing you to go into debt. The only thing that you might be a victim of is a lack of somebody giving you a wake-up call earlier and helping you prepare. Welcome, everybody. This is For the Love of Money, where we are making you unapologetic about your pursuit of success by sharing the tools, tips, and stories of those who have already made it. My name is Chris Harder, and each week I will bring you incredible guests in order to prove that when good people make good money, they do great things. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to another mini episode, episodes I like to call My Two Cents. And today, I'm actually just going to vent a little bit about one of the things that I think is the problem holding back America's money mindset. This thing is running rampant and it drives me crazy. And if I don't make you aware of it, then you too cannot be aware of it and catch yourself falling susceptible or falling victim to this type of propaganda. So I was on my way to the gym the other morning and I heard this ad on the radio and it immediately pissed me off because it's one of the glaring problems that people continue to perpetuate. It's, it's holding back your ability to live a wealthy life. Now, this ad was for one of those online, fast, personal loan sites, right? Get up to five grand with just your signature and no collateral. And, and they charge you like through the freaking roof for interest. And they charge you through the roof with fees. And I mean, it is literally the last place you would go to borrow money. Yet, it's actually a huge epidemic of people borrowing money at these sites. Now, stay with me here. The ad started out with people saying, do you know how I got into credit card debt? My kid needed braces. Do you know how I got into credit card debt? I got into a car accident. Do you know how I got into credit card debt? Our furnace went out. Now, stay with me. These are legit expenses. These are legit reasons. And if the first thing you're saying is, well, yeah, you know, their kid did need braces. That is an event where sometimes people have to put on a credit card. Or yeah, that person got into a car accident. That is an event where that person needed to put on a credit card. Or yeah, furnaces go out, dishwashers go out, appliances go out. Sometimes people need to put that on a credit card. That's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is this ad was normalizing victimhood and saying that these were the reasons that somebody needed to use a credit card. Now, here's where I'm going. These were not the reasons that these people needed to use a credit card. These are not the reasons why these people went into debt. They didn't go into debt because their kid needed braces. They didn't go into debt because they got into a car accident. They didn't go into debt because one of their appliances went out. They went into debt because they weren't managing their finances properly before that happened. Do you know how many people every single day get into a car accident or put braces on their kid or the furnace goes out and they don't use a credit card for it or they don't go into debt for it? So these were not the causes of this debt and they're trying to make you feel good. It's called sales copy. They're trying to draw you in and make you feel okay like, oh, don't worry, this happened to you and we're here to rescue you. When all they're doing is reinforcing the wrong mindset. And that wrong mindset is that you're a victim and things happen to you. And that's why you ended up in debt and you had nothing to do with it. And that is absolutely the opposite of the facts. And remember, I speak from experience. There was a time way back when, when Lori and I lived in too much debt. And then our financial house of cards collapsed when I lost my job. But using that example, I went get on this commercial and say, Oh, I went into debt because I lost my job. No, I went into debt because I was spending irresponsibly, because I wasn't taking 100% responsibility for managing my finances, for increasing my ability to earn, for improving my money mindset, for figuring out where my worth comes from. Those are the reasons why these people needed to go into credit card debt when their kid needed braces or when they got into a car accident or when their furnace went out. Now, some of you might be hearing this and saying, yes, awesome, I get it. Others, I might really be rubbing you the wrong way right now because you might be in a financial situation where when one of these things happen, you do have to use credit card debt. But my goal is not to rub you the wrong way. My goal is to be the wake-up call that makes you look one layer deeper 
One layer past, this happened, therefore I had to go into debt. One layer deeper than that would be, this happened and I had to go into debt, but why didn't I have the money there in the first place? And the reasons why people don't have the money there in the first place are numerous. Either they haven't been working on growing their ability to earn more income, they haven't been pursuing their side hustle, they haven't chased their dreams, they haven't managed their finances, they haven't tackled their money mindset, they haven't figured out why they may be spending money to fill voids in their life and therefore the money is not there when the emergencies pop up. There's numerous reasons and everybody has their own reason. And it's okay to be there right now, but it's not okay to stay there once somebody gives you the wake-up call. And that is the entire purpose of this episode. That is the entire thing that all of a sudden just entered into my brain when I heard this stupid commercial of people playing victim and trying to normalize this victimhood mentality Like you're just like everybody else. Come get this super high interest loan that's only gonna put you further behind. And so that's what drives me crazy and that is what I'm here to put you on high alert for. Not just for yourself, but for your friends, for your family. You might be able to be the one who passes this message on to them and changes their trajectory going forward. You see, a lot of times we do the same thing that this commercial is doing and we don't even realize it. Right? We pat our friend on the shoulder. We're like, oh, that's okay. You know what? You got into a car accident and your furnace went out. You've just been a victim of the perfect storm. Don't worry, you'll get through it. Listen, I know you're trying to make them feel good, but that's shitty advice. Instead, sit them down, say, I've got compassion for where you're at. But what if we came up with a plan so that you never have to go into debt again when these things pop up? Because these things didn't cause your debt. The lack of financial preparation, the lack of a strong money mindset, the lack of having a plan before these things popped up is what caused you to go into debt. So if you're looking for resources to get a lot better at this, one of my favorite ones is Financial Peace University by Dave Ramsey. Now, I've got no reason to shout him out. He has no idea that I'm I'm promoting this whatsoever. I don't even know the guy. But... I've seen so many great changes in the way people simply manage money just by going and taking that Financial Peace University um, or reading you know, one of his books, Total Money Makeover by Dave Ramsey. Now, listen, I don't agree with everything he says. I think he operates way too much in the scarcity zone and in the let's suffer through you know, having the least luxurious life possible just to create a little bit of net worth zone. So I don't agree with everything he says. But if you're looking for good, sound financial principles on how to be prepared for when these things pop up, as opposed to just being a victim when they do pop up, I think he teaches the best budgets and the best principles out there. So go check it out. But at the end of the day, my only purpose for this episode is to shake you by the shoulders, to be that wake-up call, and to say, don't fall victim to this ridiculous idea that is being perpetuated out there by the media, by your friends, your neighbors, by commercials that are just trying to get you to take action and buy one of their high interest loans. You are not a freaking victim of an event causing you to go into debt. The only thing that you might be a victim of is a lack of somebody giving you a wake-up call earlier and helping you prepare. And that is my call out to you. Let's get bigger than the problem and let's prepare for these things that happen in life so that we are not going into, quote, bad debt for them. Because when you do that, when you, when you master that, when you stop, you know, start pushing Murphy's Law out to sea, so to speak, you know what happens. When good people make good money, they do great things. Thanks for listening. And if you loved this episode and know of someone else who is as successful as they are generous, please pass them on to me. It would mean the world to me if you help me get this cause and this message out to as many listeners as I can. So please, if you liked what you heard, it goes a long way if you take 30 seconds and leave me a five-star review and share this with your friends. I'll be forever grateful. And until the next episode, cheers to your success.